what's up everybody it is wednesday and i haven't really been vlogging much this week i've been really busy like i have been barely home therefore i haven't really had time to just sit with my thoughts and do some inner work and all the things that i was doing last week Besides when I'm driving, of course. Um, so yeah, and a part of me honestly just didn't want to vlog like that for this week at least. I've been, so far, I've been experiencing, I don't know if it's fear or uncomfortability, but or just lack of motivation but i just like yesterday i'm like <laughs> what is the whole point of continuing this until the end of the month like i feel like this this extended period doesn't need to be extended anymore <laughs> but i'm like no because i set the goal to do it by the end of the month so we're going to do it, point blank period. <sighs> and it's and it's hilarious because I feel like within the last couple of days and just this week in general, <laughs> I feel like I've been distant with God. And it's funny because the purpose of this silence is for me to get closer to God so it's so interesting that I feel like I'm drifting away and I feel as though it's because I gained clarity to a situation that was very unclear and that left me broken and it left me very confused and it kind of left me wondering and questioning well like i don't know if, it's not as i don't know if i can continue this walk with god no it's not that but it's just like damn god like you know so, so i feel like i had to take a step back in a way but I was still seeking God, if that makes sense. Like, if you know, you know. I was still trying to understand and grow closer to him. But I guess you can say I wasn't doing the action steps. Like, for instance, I haven't, I haven't been praying as much as I used to before. I haven't been reading the Bible as much as I used to before. And by those lack of actions, I feel like I'm drifting away. But I started up again today. And I feel like it was just a little, little, little phase I was in, you know. But now I'm back at it. And I feel so good. I feel very, very good. And now that I gained clarity and stuff is lifted off my shoulders and I can focus, I can finally focus on the important things. I'm just really excited. I've been going to sleep super early, which I love because I was, before this, I was literally falling asleep at like 1 a.m. every single day. <laughs> I honestly don't I really don't have much to say right now it's just this journey has been interesting and inspiring at the same time and healing also there's a dazzling haze mysterious way about the year have I known you 20 seconds for 20 years? <laughs> Bro, <laughs> I have a confession to make. 
Earlier today, on my way to work, <laughs> I listened to Taylor Swift. <laughs> okay, guys, if you don't know the song Lover, <laughs> that song has been in my head for a week straight, bro. <laughs> like, one day, like it was Sunday. <sighs> It was like so stuck in my head and I wanted to listen to it so bad, but I'm like, no, Jasmine, can't listen to music this month. And so <laughs> I went on YouTube <laughs> and I put the music video on, but in silence. <laughs> and I was just singing along, you know, <laughs> karaoke stuff. <sighs> So I just had to. I, it was just bugging me. I was like, it was literally replaying. And I'm like, you know what? The only way it'll decrease is if I listen. So I did. I did. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Um, yeah. Like I said yesterday, a big part of me feels like I don't need to do this anymore. I don't need to live in silence anymore. But I don't know if it's because I've just been so busy all week that I haven't really gave myself time to just be with myself. Or if it's actually because time's up. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Because I really like to finish things. I don't like giving up. <laughs> if I have a due date on it. <sighs> yeah. You know, let's talk about it. Because sometimes this is on my mind. And I feel like some of you can relate. And it's just about like the waiting season process, whatever. I feel like I am so freaking slept on i feel so slept on guys like i'm the shit i'm cool my vlogs are funny as hell i'm funny as hell my podcast is so good <sighs> my fits be so good like i don't get it i've been doing this consistently two years straight the consistency that i put in it's like i should already be up there i should already have the viewers the subscribers all of that i'm so grateful and thankful for those of you who stay watching my videos like i don't know who you are but i love you i love you if you complete the heart i love you even more. <laughs> but like for real though and it's annoying because it's like, all right, I don't want to give up. I don't even want to post. Like, there's no point of me posting because it's like, nobody's going to watch it. Only the few are going to watch it. And I'm going to be stuck in this cycle of just waiting. But it's like, that's the purpose. That's the point. You just got to keep going because you literally never know when it's going to happen. You don't know. Like the last vlog 91 views like i granted i've had more views in a vlog before but like i don't know it's like usually my travel vlogs be up there it's not even up there <laughs> like 100 views but like 91 on a simple vlog where it's just literally silence and me talking. Interesting. So that just inspired me like, okay, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Cause honestly, I don't think I was going to even post a vlog for this week. Cause I'm just like, I didn't record. I like, it was just, there's no purpose or reason, but there's always purpose and reason for everything. <laughs> I'm cold. <sighs> I'm just excited for this to be over. So 
so I can have like a dance singing party in my room, guys. Ah. <laughs> Look, this journey was really good. Honestly, it went by so fast. This went by so fast. And I remember complaining about how this is, it feels so long. I was looking through my agenda and I have like three more weeks to go. Honey, we have a week and a few days left. <laughs> this was a really great experience, not gonna lie though. It was, it was really needed and really worth it. And if you're watching, if you're watching this, if you've been watching this mini small series and you're like bro i want to do this do it just do it like you don't have to do it for a whole month maybe you can do it for a whole month but at least a week and then see how you feel because honestly it's so important to just cut out the noise and just hear yourself and to just hear what's been happening inside and confront everything that you are not and confront the old version of yourself that thinks they have a seat at the motherfucking table this new improved table that you built for yourself like no you don't belong here anymore get out Okay, guys, I'm, I feel like I'm being weird. <laughs> I hope you guys, like, feel like I'm your internet bestie, internet friend. Because that's how I feel like with the little views I have. Nah, but for real, y'all were here in the beginning. Like, for real. Y'all are the real ones. Period. Because when I get up there... You'll remember this conversation. <laughs> when you get up there, you'll remember this conversation. You'll be like, yo, I was there from the jump. And now all these other people want to come along. And I love all these new people that are coming along. Because period. But <laughs> whatever. Before my phone dies, I'm going to log out of here. And I will see you in the next scene. What's up, guys? Eating bananas and apples. <laughs> Let's start over. What is up, everybody? I'm currently eating an apple and peanut butter. Do you like my new hairstyle? And now it's like in the weird phase of drying. I'm like, can you just dry? So I can see how it looks like. You know the drill, it's Sunday. What have I learned within this whole week of silence? So I already knew about this concept how we as humans are animals seeing unconscious people acting like animals is even more wild y'all like pay attention to how people react towards certain things <laughs> or how people just want their selfish desires to come now and how impatient people are it's honestly it's 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 um I'm amazed as to how aware I am because it's it's crazy. It's really crazy. Like for example, yesterday I was taking public transportation. The train stopped at a certain spot and there were shuttles and there it was a if you know, you know. 
And so the shuttle bus was pulling up and there was a big amount of people waiting. As soon as that shuttle bus came up, everybody just ran to the doors. And like, you see that there's mad people on the shuttle bus, right? And they were, you know, waiting at the door so they can leave. And literally nobody made space so that when the people got off the bus, they could just move. Like initially in their heads was like, once the door opens, I'm in there. And people do that regardless <laughs> on the train. It's really freaking crazy. So that was one realization. Just like, wow. People are like, we are literal animals in human bodies and also being on this journey of homeless even i used to look at it this way it's being whole doesn't mean that you have everything together it doesn't mean that you have your life together it doesn't mean that you are this 100 percent balanced balanced person that doesn't get triggered easily that freaking doesn't get hurt and doesn't have these certain kind of emotion doesn't have these human emotions that's not what being whole is being whole is when it comes to those moments when you are triggered when it comes to the mo those moments when you're hurt and you're in pain and you're experiencing all these negative emotions or challenges it's more of what you do about it and your perception of it a whole person takes time for themselves and doesn't seek validation from the outside a whole person <clears throat> loves themselves and loves the process of becoming and does not judge themselves for it even if they are judging themselves for it they always resort back to the inner world inside of them they're not afraid to face the inner world inside of them they can be easily comfortable with just being and that's what i'm learning i decided to continue on this silencing journey for another week which is the last week of april we are entering the last week of april and so I'm like, might as well end it with a bang. Um, yeah, even this morning, I was like, uh, kind of beating myself up. <laughs> and I'm like, you know, well, we already kind of fucked up. We already, let's say we already do fuck up towards the end of the week because all day I'm at work. And, you know, I find myself not being in a reflective state besides driving and all that like <sighs> it makes me feel like there's no point of doing this but no that's not the point that's not the purpose the purpose is to the purpose was to do it for a month and that's what we're doing and then after the month is over, we can have dance parties. We can listen to music. We can be on TikTok. We can watch YouTube videos. We can just do stuff mindlessly. I'm interested to see how <clears throat> the last week is going to be. Um, what I'll be learning from it. I might just plug off from literally everything like um instagram i have to figure it out though because i'm still working <laughs> still working so yeah i just might do that though just to like <clears throat> really fully 
live in the silence, like silence, silence, silence. I don't know. We'll see though. I'm going to end the vlog here. And I want to say thank you again for watching me and continuing to tune in to my videos, even if it's just me talking. Because I can talk a lot. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I hope in some way it inspired you from for something I don't know but I will see you guys when I see you and I hope you have a fabulous fantabulous <laughs> rest of your week. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.